The following instructions are for limit switch cam adjustment on a Duff Norton MPB6905 mini pack actuator as shown. The procedure for adjusting these switches can be found on page five of the maintenance manual supplied with, the, with each actuator. This procedure is also found inside the limit switch housing cover. The tools required for this instruction are a number one Phillips screwdriver, a 564 Allen wrench, and a tape measure. The actuator has been uh, properly wired and connected to the uh, capacitor as instructed in the maintenance manual. Uh, the next step is to run the actuator in the retracting direction until the cam switch is uh, activated. So we'll do that. Okay, the cam switch has been activated now. So the uh, translating tube should be rotated until it aligns with the, uh, the two clevises are in the same uh, plane. After running to activate the retract switch, the translating tube uh, is then turned until you uh, get the desired pin-to-pin -pin closed height measurement that you're uh, wanting on this uh, actuator. This is 20 and 1 quarter inches, which is the minimum closed height for a 12 inch stroke actuator. We will now extend the actuator to achieve the desired extended uh, height that we want for the stroke of the actuator. This actuator has 12 inches of available stroke and we'll just uh, pick, a, pick a place to stop here and take a measurement. And this is at uh, 29 and a quarter inches. And what you do, you adjust this to uh, satisfy what the stroke that you need on your particular application. The red wires are attached to the retract limit switch and the black wires are attached to the uh, extend limit switch. The cam gear activates the retract side of the limit switch and a steel cam with a set screw, which is adjustable, actu actuates the extend switch. We will now run the actuator in the retract uh, direction until the uh, retract limit switch is activated. At this point, we set the uh, translating tube to the uh, closed height that, we, uh, that we're uh, needing for our application. Then we restrain the tube from rotating and extend the actuator until we achieve the uh, extended height necessary to satisfy our uh, application. Once we have achieved the uh, extended height, we will adjust the uh, steel uh, adjustable cam to uh, until we actuate the extend limit switch. This is done by rota by using the uh, Allen wrench for a lever. We hit the switch and we tighten the set screw. This then prevents the actuator from running in the extend direction. It will run in the retract direction and then back to the extend direction until the switch is actuated. Once the extend and retract switches have been set, you must restrain the, re uh, the translating tube and then retract the actuator back to determine if the settings are the same. We have a closed height of 20 and a quarter.
and an extended height of 29 and one half inches. So we have the actuator stroke set to the values that we want.